Now, this story actually takes place right before Toa, Cessna, and Moaha were born, which we actually see in the beginning of the episode of Riku actually talking to a demon named Hosinki II, and he actually gave him two objects. One is the black jewel, one of the sacred jewels, and the second is the rouge used by Insa Yuri, Iyasha's mother, which is the same rouge that Moha used to turn into Benny Maru. So now they actually give them to I Iyasha, which we actually knew that the technique that Iyasha actually inherited from Hosenki the second's father which is the Amantas Barricade, which a move they actually use as darts, in which we knew that <clears throat> Kagomi is also with child, which she is actually carrying Moha, in which we actually saw Rinku actually meeting Kagomi, which we seen Sun Go's children say that Lady Rin is about to give birth, which Rinku told her about a comet named the Grim Comet, which only appeared after the lunar eclipse actually ends. In which the story how the Grim Comet actually appears and the fragments actually break up and destroy everything in this path in which the great dog demon and Kirin, Kirin Maru are actually the ones who destroy the comets only appear over 500 years however we actually see that Iriyasha's father and Kirin Maru no longer can do it, so it will destroy everything in the path, including Ren's children and Kagomi's. So that actually means that Iriyasha and Sinshu Maru are going to have to take their place, which we actually see, seen Jaqin actually say to Shishomaru that his children are now being born which we see in Zero actually appeared and asked him is he going to kill his children which he actually will not so he actually take the two half demon children which Ren actually named them Toa and Cessna, which they're actually now being born, that's when Sishomaru actually take them away from Zero. That's when Joka actually appeared, tried to kill them, but he actually cut her arms off and take the gold and silver jewels from her which they're actually Zero's tears. So he actually put them in a tree and she, he placed the jewels into their eyes. The same ones that we actually saw. But we actually saw Iriyasha and Kagomi told him about the comet, which we actually seen it actually appeared. So he using Baku, I mean Saiga and Iriyasha using the Mido <coughs> Singetsuha on the S, which he actually got rid of him, in which we actually see how we seen Kira Maru actually appears, in which he asks him, "Is he going to kill Iriyasha?" And that's when we seen Moraha being born, which Kagome gave her the rouge. Then we seen the two of them actually appeared. That's when Kagome gave 
Moha to Hashin to look after while Ilyasha tried to fight his half brother, but he actually took the black jewel away from his eye and actually used the same technique to pull Ilyasha and Kagome into the jewel. Then Jaku warned him that one day that his Mido <clears throat> Sangetsuha will have to be used. And that's when we've seen Moha actually been raised by bounty hunters, in which we've seen how the story actually happens for Toa and Sesuna when Zero as Homura to burn down the forest. That's when, in episode 2, how this story actually begins. That's when Rinku told the viewers there's nothing to be worried about. We actually knew how this story is going to happen, in which he told them that they'll meet again soon. Now, we actually seen this as an origin story, how Toa, Sesuna, and Moraha are born, which Iduyasha and Seshumaru are actually destroying the comet. So we actually see how the trio protagonists actually were actually born in which they actually meet each other for the first time. So now we're going to see what's going to happen on the next episode next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment a way you think about the episode. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guys Radio here saying sign out. Laters and be safe.